Graduation is an exciting time. It is both an ending and a beginning. It is a time to celebrate the achievements, prepare a future of opportunities, and embrace a world of infinite possibilities. It is a proud moment for teachers, parents, and graduates for all their hard work they have put in has been paid off. Despite this challenging time, it is right and proper to celebrate this wonderful and momentous event in child's life. Distinguished guests, colleagues, members of graduating class, proud parents, friends and families, a pleasant and joyous viewing to all. And welcome to the first virtual ceremony of Angob Elementary School, school year 2020 2021 with the theme, Kalidad na Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Let's bow our heads and place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all of us today in this important event. Bless everyone present here today that each one of us may be able to share what he or she have for your glory and honor. We pray for our graduates today and leave them before you. We ask for your peace to cover them. We ask for laughter and joy to fill their days. We pray that you would give them boldness and courage to face challenges set before them with the confidence of peace that can only come from your spirit. Be a lamp for their feet and a light to their path. Shine over them. Fill them with your spirit. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark on life's great adventure. May the various activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We ask all of this in your name. Amen. Besides blue skies, the cradle of hope for the young ones lies. Sows the seed of love and zest for life. With real vision, a beacon light. Give the song alive in our hearts. Song of the great Western Messiahs. Echoing the love and pride of years gone by The region's banner proudly held high Western Messiah's home of champions Seed of lofty dreams and wisdom Treasure trove of knowledge and devotion To greatness beyond all games before Glory, working towards excellence. 
Sense and quality Never to quit Never to falter Hand in hand We strive together West and Visayas Home of champions Seeds of lofty dreams And wisdom Treasure trove Of knowledge and devotion To greatness beyond Our gains before Maghini 
Pirupay, kag magkinalipay, sa banwang atunay. Kwartero, kwartero, bugay sa langit nga naagum. Kwartero, kwartero, ikaw paglaong kag-inspirasyon. Ikaw paglaong kag-inspirasyon Ikaw paglaong kag-inspirasyon Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education. 
even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at the time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. 
we would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. 
I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us a look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Alan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life, an embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in Deped Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayunta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay. My felicitations and expression of jubilation for victories won by the Department of Education over pandemic. Education though affected, but the Department of Education was able to rise above the situation and stand victors of the situation. My congratulations to every learner. My congratulations to every parent. My congratulations to every teacher. My congratulations to the administrators, local government units, and every community member. Indeed, CAPIS Division's basic education learning continuity plan was successful in its content and implementation. To this, I can say, paraphrasing 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 to 8, the Department of Education Capis has fought a good fight, finished the race, and kept the faith. Congratulations to every graduate and Godspeed. Congratulations. Graduates of school year 2020-2021, has been challenged by a world health crisis due to COVID-19 pandemic. But education must go on because it plays a vital role in shaping our youth's future and building our nation. Basic education learning continuity plan were implemented, the distance learning through modular instruction blended with online, television, and radio-based instruction and it's supported with varied social media platforms. 
The 2021 end of school year rights shall focus on the theme, kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. This is to highlight that amidst all the challenges, the learner's right to inclusive and quality education and to safety from the health risks of COVID-19 must be given priority. Congratulations, my dear graduates. This day is your greatest victory in life. Remember the people behind this triumph, the teachers, school administrators, and parents who have nurtured and supported you as you journey to reach one of your dreams. To all of you who have generously exerted efforts, patience, and sacrifices, you have done valuable contributions to our graduates, and I salute you. You have shown and manifested your competence, love, and passion to help and mentor our children. My dear graduates, as you move toward another milestone in your educational life, always remember the teachings of your beloved alma mater. The values, learning, and experiences in school have prepared you to face another challenging chapter in your educational journey. Our nation is hoping you to become a successful individual with love and concern to our community and country. Furthermore, you graduates of 2021, as you go further to the next higher ladder of education, you will learn, experience, and explore more avenues of learnings. This will equip you to be more diverse, dynamic, and competitive as you face life challenges. The knowledge and skills will surely lead you to actualize your hopes and dreams with the highest pride and dignity. Continue to engage and follow your path towards your desire of fulfilling your dreams and aspirations for excellence. Lastly, do not forget to be grateful and continuously love and respect your parents as the Bible says, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Again, my warmest congratulations to you graduates of 2021 and Mabuhay! My warmest and advanced congratulations to Batch 2021 of Angob Elementary School. This graduation is indeed a memorable event and one-of-a-kind ceremony that we cannot forget because we do it virtually for the first time. At this very moment, you are supposed to be on stage, receiving your certificates and awards as your proof that you have surpassed the first ladder of success. Instead, you are staying at home with your parents, watching your name to be called as graduate, clapping your hands with other members of the family. But I want you to know, that we are so proud of you because for one school year, you have been resilient and striving to continue your education despite pandemic. Thus, you hit this year's theme, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Can you imagine yourselves studying and learning modules with your parents and guardians at home? This is very hard to do on your part and most especially on the part of your parents. Actually, what we are experiencing now is just a test of who you really are. Now, we have proven who you are because you stand still and not give up on your studies and hence you are about to graduate and receive your due rewards according to your performance. In your next level in secondary education, I encourage you to strive more. Focus on your studies and also be responsible to perform your role in the family. To my fellow teachers, I am a living witness of your enthusiasm 
hard work and dedication to your profession. You have strived so hard to meet what is expected of you despite the challenge brought about by this pandemic. To our utility personnel, municipal officials, barangay and SK officials, alumni and private stakeholders, thank you for your continued financial and material support to our school. I believe in the saying of Aesop, united we stand, divided we fall. So, we will work hand in hand to reach our goal for the betterment of the school and our school children. Thank you very much and may God bless us all. Mabuhay! To formally start this ceremony, let us hear some words of welcome from Raya May B. Implamado, Grade 6 Arroyo, with honors. To the Ingenious Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Salvador O. Ochavo, to our Versatile Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Reynaldo D. Escaraga, to our dynamic and motherly head teacher to Mom Island B. Abeliano, beloved teachers of Angov Elementary Schools, the proud parents, friends, and families who are virtually supporting and watching today. A pleasant morning. And welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of Angov Elementary School, school year 2020 to 2021. With a theme, Kalidad sa Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. It is the utmost joy and pride that I welcome all of you to our virtual graduation ceremony. We are happy for this first big milestone in our life. Graduation is most significant event in child's life. And since it is the end of this stage in our graduation, in our education, it brings us a mixture of joy and pain. Joy for reaching our goals and pain for saying goodbye to the people who became a part of our lives for who we are today. In behalf of graduates, we would like to thank those people who helped us reach of our goals to all the teachers of our beloved alma mater. Thank you for nurturing us. Thank you for thank you for the knowledge and learning that you inculcated to us. To our beloved parents, thank you for all the hard work and sacrifices in giving us a good education. And to most of all, thank you God for all the blessings and knowledge you have showered upon us. Fellow graduates, Batch 2021, let us make the most of the fantastic educational opportunities that we have this challenging time. Fellow graduates, I wish you all good luck for the coming years in our lives. May the years may the years to come be kind to all the to all of us and may God and his wisdom bless us with success. And so my dear parents, honored guests, and behalf of graduating class, it is my pleasure to welcome you to witness this year's virtual ceremony. Once again, welcome and good day. Graduation is the big milestone in child's life. At this juncture, let's have Mom Eileen P. Abiliano, Head Teacher 2 of Angob Elementary School, for the presentation of candidates for graduation, and this is to be followed by the confirmation of our school's Division Superintendent, Dr. Salvador O. Ochavo. Dr. Salvador O. Ochavo Jr., CESO 5, Schools Division Superintendent, Division of Copies. I have the honor to present to you the 24 members of the graduating class of Angub Elementary School, school year 2020-2021, of which 12 are boys and 12 are girls. 
I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed the basic requirements prescribed for K-12 curriculum of the Department of Education of the Republic of the Philippines. Now, here they are, ready for your confirmation. By virtue of the authority in me vested by the Secretary of the Department of Education through the Regional Director and upon the recommendation of your principal that all of you have completed and complied with all of the requirements of the basic education curriculum, I hereby confirm your graduation today and declare you graduates of basic education of the Department of Education CAPIS and award you your diploma with all of the privileges, rights, and entitlements appurtenant thereto. Congratulations.
Alexa Grace Panginginan with honors. Kimberly D. Pilares. It is not just a mere graduation to some, because today they will reap what they saw for a couple of years, and they will be paid off well for all the efforts they have exerted. This time, let us have a virtual distribution of awards to the Academic Excellence Awardees in alphabetical order. Maria Janine L. Protasio with honors. It is my honor to present to you the guest speaker of our first virtual graduation ceremony. She is the youngest daughter among the nine siblings of the late Gregorio Bustamante and Expectacion Bustamante. Married to Efren Orsini, head logistic officer at Hercore College and a loving and caring mother to Friends Orsini, a 24-year-old and graduates of Bachelor of Science in Electronic Engineering at Philomer Christian University, Bats 2020. She graduated her elementary education as first honorable mention at Angog Elementary School. She attended her secondary education at Quartero Barangay High School as a lotatorian in 1985, and graduated her Bachelor of Science in Nursing at University of Iloilo, Batch 1990. Completed her graduate studies, Master of Arts in Nursing at Central Philippine University 
year 2011. And she also completed her academic requirement in Master of Science in Guidance and Counseling. She served as top nurse at Kingdom of Saudi Arabia year 1993 to 2002. In the year 2002 to 2003, she worked as top nurse at Capis Emmanuel Hospital, Rojas City, and a clinical instructor, clinical coordinator at Philomer Christian University College of Nursing year 2003 to 2013. She is a council observant in women ministry, couple ministry, at Christ Commission Fellowship, Rojas Outreach, and presently conducting a life group coaching workshop entitled Breaking Free from Anxiety via Zoom Online. Our speaker is guided with the verse Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. It is a longer I who live, but Christ lives in me, so I live in the earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pride to present to you a woman with dignity and a God-fearing one. Let us give a warm welcome to our first virtual graduation ceremony, guest speaker, a guidance counselor of Hercule College, Mrs. Glicinia Bustamante Orsini. My warmest greetings sa akon mga kasimaryo dira sa barangay ang Hob. Kag sa akon beloved alma mater, ang Hob Elementary School nga kung sa diin dako gid ang akon pagpasalamat sa akon mga mapinalanggaon kag matutom nga mga moms and sirs sang una pero mga retired na sila subong tanan. Gani kun anuman ang ako na labot sa akon pagbakas sa eskwela, dako gid sila nga bahin sang akon kabuhi. Sa subong sa inyo naman time, nagapati gid ako nga kun ano ang ginumpisahan sang amon mga maalamon kag disiplinado nga mga maestro kag maestra. Mas nagdugang pagid ang kalidad sang edukasyon ninyo subong. And I take this opportunity and it's a privilege and honor to speak before you and share a message na kabay makahatag man sa inspirasyon sa inyo tanan. To your very active and resourceful principal, Ma'am Aileen Abiliano, thank you, Gid Ma'am Lynn, for inviting me once again. Hindi man na dayon ang last year tungod sa lockdown, pero subong we have the new normal graduation. Sa mga ginikanan, kaangay ko, nga may anak man nga nag-graduate sa iya ginpili nga kurso. Last year, makarelate gid ako kung ano ang feelings nga mag-graduate na ang anak ninyo. Kamu ang gusto ko nga i-recognize kag i-congratulate sa sinigatiyon. Tungod sang inyo mga pagsakripisyo kapag hatag sang suporta sa inyo mga anak. Gani ari na high tech ang graduation ginatawag nga virtual ceremony. Pero masubo man nga tungod sang lockdown last year, katulad sang iba nga ginikanan, wala ako maka-experience sang subong sini para sa akon anak. Pero praise God man gihapon na. And thank you, Lord, kay nakagraduate na. Kag sa mga graduating class of batch 2020-2021, you are so blessed. Hindi tanan na tagaan sang kahikayunan. Nga makaiskwela. Hindi madali ang pangabuhi. Kabay nga nakita ninyo ina nga reality para maging driving force ninyo. To propel with exemplary pursuit towards excellence, not only academically, but in view of attitude and moral perspective. This is just the beginning, dear graduates. Kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. 
sa subo nga gin-experience ang aton mga kabataan sa ilag eskwelahan or pag-eskwela, ay han papano patatagin o pagtibayin ang kalidad sa ila edukasyon. Let me give you a grounding verse from Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 nga nagasiling commit your action to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Kay ang tanan sa aton kabuhi just lang ang nagapanag iya. Kani wala gid kita maipabugal kung pagapakamayuhon man sang Ginoo ang aton mga handog. I believe nga ang kalidad o quality sang education kag kung paano mapagtibay sa pihak sang pandemya nga gina-experience sang tanan subo is not only the responsibility of the school, teachers, principals or government but this is called a partnership a collaboration between the parents students and school gani diri masulod ang ginatawag nga significant relationship luya ko nga i-share sa inyo ang akon point in a form of acronym spelled T I M E I'm sure tanan kita familiar what time is. So T stands for training. In Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6, nagasiling, Tudlui ang bata sang husto nga paginawi. Kagdumdumon niya ina, bisantigulang na siya. Training entails discipline. Ang training nagastart gid sa aton panimalay. Kagkita nga mga ginikanan ang may dako nga influence para sa aton mga anak. Subong tungod nga wala man kita sang makaduan, we can spend more time no? sa aton mga anak. Mga magic moments nga makabanding na kita sa ila. Kag matagaan tas git sila sa nagakaigo nga training. Bilang first teacher sa aton mga anak, Kita ang mas nakakilala sa ila kapasidad. Hasta nga mapakita gidila ang ila nga maximum potential. We recognize and appreciate our teachers nga nag-extend gid sa ila nga time tag effort sa aton mga kabataan. Madamo na kita sa mga advanced learning about technology, techniques about education. Ara ang laptop, iPad, cellphone. Now that will strengthen the learning of our children. Gani, we need to be I intentionality. Spending time with our children is just like an investment. Ang aton anak nagakinahanglan sang guidance and wisdom. Hindi lang maayos sila magbasa. Magsulat, maghambal sa English, or mayad sa mathematics. Pero ang core values, ang pamatasan sa isa kabata, ang orientation na gahalingit sa tatay, kag nanay, kay papa, kay mama. Nga magareflect pag ara na ang bata sa gwa. So we don't find time. We make time for them. So do sa aton plano, Paghandong para sa ila. Values na ila man bitbiton, bisan diin sila magkato. Kay tungod ina, ila ina na learn sa ila mga parents na nagpaintindi sa ila. Pero siyempre, siyempre, may contribution man ng aton mga ikaduhang nga ginikanan. Day ma'am kag sir na maka-encourage gid sa ila no sa aton mga kabataan nga maging intentional sa ila pagtuon. And letter M stands for modeling. The principle of modeling, children copy us, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Ano ba lang ginamodel natin sa aton mga kabataan? Hindi kung kaisa kinahanglan nga ihambal pa, kay automatic, they copy us. O di ba may admayad sila mag-copy-paste? Just like a computer. Madamo nga mga parents nga nagasiling that follow what I say but don't follow what I do. 
But don't you know that children are not good in listening? But they never fail to imitate us. Gani sa aton man nga mga moms and sirs, modeling is the most effective way of teaching. God revealed the importance of modeling. Another terms for this is lifestyle teaching. Values are more caught than taught. Values do not learn through long lectures and modules, but it's a kind of model we are to them. And lastly, is E stands for excellence. Excellence is the gradual result of always striving to do better according to Pat Riley. It is not a skill, it is an attitude. To the graduating class of Angob Elementary School Batch 2020 2021, with every episode of struggle, there is a learning opportunity. Excellence is not an accomplishment. It is a spirit, a never-ending process. God wants your best because He gave His best. He showed His best by means of His greatest love for us. And this is what He says in Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11 to 13. Nahibaluan ko kung paano ko tumanon ang akon mga plano para sa inyo. Plano sa pagpauswag sa inyo, kag hindi sa paghalit. Plano sa paghatag sa inyo, sang paglaom nga may maayo kamo nga palaabuton. Dayon magapanawag kamo kag pamatian ko kamo. Kung magadangop kamo sa akon sing Tinagipusoon, buligan ko kamo. Ang handong sang inyo ginikanan para sa inyo, kalakip sang inyo pagplano, kagpagbakas pakadto sa inyo kadalagan, or ginatawag na success, initanan proseso, kag nagakinahanglan sang inyo determinasyon, cooperation, kag responsibility o responsibilidad nga may pagtuo sa Ginoo. Excellent performance in school or studies is something nga hindi gidnaton mapabugal. Kundi pasalamatan sa Ginoo. Kag ina para sa iya kahimayaan, kag kadayawan. Humility is the key to success. Madamo kita sa mga plano Pero ang kabubuton sang Ginoo amo ang matuman. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 21. Gani sa liwat ang time is T training I intentionality M modeling E excellence. Sa pamaagi nga ini makita tag Nga palangga tagid ang aton mga anak. Kay ang love is spelled T-I-M-E. Kag ang ila pagtuon magamag-an. Kag tayo yun nga may kalipay sa pagdiskobre sa mga maayo pagid ng mga pamaagi para mapatibay ang kalidad sa ila edukasyon. Maayong adlaw sa inyo tanan, sa mga graduates, good job for making it this far. For the parents and guardians, congratulations. We rejoice in the success of your children. And for the teaching force of Angob Elementary School, mabuhay po kayo. To God be all the glory. Thank you. And may God bless us all. At this juncture, in behalf of the graduates and awardees, let us watch and listen to Clever Cloney F. Brilliantes with honors and SPG president as she deliver her message. Hello everyone, this is a big landmark for us, the grade 6 students as we exit the elementary level and stepping up to high school. 
as we spent in the elementary grade for six years. It left us so many memories. We have created friendship from our classmates. We have come by love and guidance from our parents and teachers. And more importantly, we learned and grown from our academics in our room. Today is our day to be thankful to our parents and teachers because they are the reason behind our victory. My fellow graduates, I am sure we are all aware that our elementary years were filled with so many performances, quizzes, exams. But hey, we overcome every challenge and task. Now that we are living our elementary years, let's not consider that hardship will end right here on our graduation day. The lessons and values that we learn from our school will be the most powerful instrument as we step forward to the next chapter of our lives. Our teachers have taught us to face every day with a positive, positive attitude in our life. I am encouraging you all to give your best to enjoy the process of learning and discovering as we seal this unforgettable chapter of our elementary life. I congratulate all of you. Our victory despite of this COVID pandemic is for our school and family success. Let us be reminded that our education is a gift and never take it for granted. Let us use it to be blessings to others. Congratulations! Thank you, beloved parents and industrious teachers. May the Lord bless our future ahead. This is Clever Cloney Florino Brillante speaking in behalf of Angov Elementary School graduates and awardees as your SPG president signing off. We might not be walking across that stage with the cameras flashing they've been waiting on our day it's been a journey has an end i wouldn't trade a moment no i wouldn't change a moment i'm who
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the kindergarten of the elementary school or school year 2020-2021. Here they are. John Carl L. Fabrigar Kyle Vincent P. Padrugani Norman T. Pajarillo Jr. Nathaniel F. Pantilanan Kyle Andrew Jimenez Christian Loud E. Libre Rian Francis E. Mayo Mark Christian S. Osorio Sean Kim P. Palmes J.J. D. Silva Cyril Jan B. Ugas Eros F. Valle Jumel H. Villa Ariana S. Arcones Diane John S. Candido Precious Sai G. Democrito Michelle F. Ischaga Lorraine Joy B. Fortune Diana Mitch G. Martaya Princess Kate P. Palmes To the parents, thank you very much for the support 
and cooperation for the studies of your children even in this time of pandemic. So, my pupils, always strive to be the best that you can be. To parents and kiddies, congratulations for a job well done. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.